or general manager of football, Peter Bell. Bell, did you have an update on that fight? Yeah, I do. Uh, obviously, Nat got through the game on Saturday against St Kilda. Uh, we all travelled back to Western Australia on Saturday night. On Monday, uh, we had him tested and he had 100% strength in that hamstring. Um, unfortunately, on Tuesday, just in a training run, he pulled up with a little bit of soreness, so we sent him off for a scan. Uh, the scan indicated that he has a small strain to his right hamstring in a different area to the previous one. So unfortunately, he'll miss uh, this week uh, the Derby and potentially uh, a few more games after that. Uh, and that will get stuck into his rehabilitation and hopefully we'll see him in a few weeks. And Hayden Young, we have an update on him? Yeah, Hayden had a right ankle injury, uh, so that's been diagnosed to, diagnosed as a syndesmosis injury. Hayden's had surgery on that and is at home recuperating at the moment. And then we'll go into a uh, longer term rehabilitation. I'm not sure exactly how long that will be. We are hopeful that he'll be back to play uh, some football at the uh, tail end of this season. And Griffin Logue, what's the latest with him? Yeah, some bad news for Griff as well. Unfortunately, he has um, turf toe, um, which is a, um, a reasonably serious injury around that right big toe. Um, uh, the rehab plan for him is to have uh, about five weeks of um, uh, partial weight bearing and to protect that toe and, and let it recover and then um, build from there. So it's another longer term injury. Again, we're hopeful that he'll be back later in the year. And can we expect Sean Darcy to play this weekend? Yeah, all signs are really positive for Sean. He's passed all of the various tests that uh, we've asked him to complete. Um, he has to get through a full week of training symptom free and we won't be taking any risks at all. Um, symptom free for him to be able to play this weekend.